Speaking of BYU men's volleyball, we welcome all of you back to BYU Sports Nation live in Studio B. And we also welcome in a key freshman phenom from BYU men's volleyball, Mix Romanus. Mix, welcome to BYU Sports Nation. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me here. Hey, great to have you. I know Jerem Jordan is clearly a big fan of yours. He's not with us today. You know, he calls all the matches. How much BYU volleyball did you watch with Jerem and Steve on the call before you actually showed up on campus? Oh, I don't think any at all. Wow, really? Yeah, so no. so how much of a knowledge of BYU men's volleyball did oh, you have? Sorry, no. I, I thought you meant like with them. No, but I'm, I, I'm just, just on TV. Of, yeah, just on TV. A few games. I mean, I mainly watched it on YouTube. I uh -huh. used to always scroll through YouTube just watching volleyball games like BYU, like any college or any pro team. So, I mean, I've watched plenty of games, but live, I really haven't. I'll be to be completely honest. So, so what's your story on how you came to BYU? Was BYU the school that you always wanted to go to? What was your story that brought you here? Well, um, at the time in club, I wasn't the best player, and BYU gave me a, like, a good chance because I showed, I showed up for this uh, tournament called HP High Performance. So after that, I was like, okay, I got BYU, and my other top school was Hawaii. But uh, at the moment, I was like, I just considered the two most important things, like volleyball and academics. And I feel like BYU was undefeated in both those aspects. Like, I had friends on the Hawaii team. So I was like, kind of debating a little bit. But in the end, I was like, dang, BYU is the place I got to be. Because I was like with my friend David and just all the signs just showed to hear. Well, look, when the scenery is the same, you go with the better school. And that was BYU, oh, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm a big mountain guy, you know? Oceans, Hawaii is amazing and all that. Yeah. Now listen, you lived in California. You've been by the ocean. Yeah. you got to come to the Wasatch Front and stare at those mountains. Oh, yeah, for a little bit at least. Mix Romanus is with us on BYU Sports Nation. So how old were you when BYU became the legitimate place that you wanted to play your college volleyball? I mean, I've always been in debate because, like, when I actually got the offer to come here, it was, it was just kind of surreal because, like, wow, it's BYU, like, the crowds. And, like, I have friends who've been like, oh, my gosh, BYU, like, Taylor Sander, Ben Patch, like, all these guys. Always freaked out about it. But, like, when I got it, I'd say I was about, like, 16, like, 17 when I was, like, this is the place I want to be. Like, I always debated it, but, like, around 17. What's that like for you, knowing that the history you just brought up is one that's storied and features three national championships? And your head coach won a national championship at BYU. So what's that like for you now to be in the Smithfield house and producing the energy and the big plays and the big hits? It's crazy. Like, I, I cannot describe it. Like, I never experienced such, like, hype before in a volleyball game because at my high school, at my club, I, I was never the crowded court, and the high school was never packed except for, like, championships. But field house, oh, my goodness. That's a whole different story. Being, like, generating it, like, looking around, seeing the guys all getting, like, Davide going crazy. Oh, my gosh. He's, like, always turns around, looks at the audience, and goes, like, ah, and they all yell back. It's just insane. What, what have you learned from a guy like Davide? Um, how to, like, I'd say mentality. Like, we, we, we or he came in this year. Well, I've, I've had the mindset of just, like, working hard, getting to it, and, like, seeing how such, like, a role model, like, role model player coming in and then just like focusing and starting to grind and just it gives you a whole new sense of grind and like when you're on the court him always being composed no matter what of course some emotions arise but like I'd say the the composure on the court and the grinding mentality was two things that kind of stuck out to me from him let's talk about the grind because it feels like this season has very much been that yeah I mean you, you have had to work for the victories that you have picked up a lot of these have gone five sets extra points i mean we're seeing sets that are 32 30 it's just been a battle night in and night out for you mix why is that beneficial for a team like this that does have a lot of youth on it i mean again first of all we're, we're young we can we could we can move around we can start getting the going i think it's like with some older players like at some point they start doing like get more injured and with us we still get like we're still energized but as a team in a whole i believe it's kind of more of a sense of like fighting through it like the ups and downs the emotions it's something we need as a team right now mm. in my opinion so let's get to know you a little bit more spencer mentioned you know that that you're from california but you lived in a couple of different places throughout the united states uh i think you said you were born in in ohio indiana indiana, indiana excuse indiana. me indiana you have latvian heritage yes. so give everybody an idea of your of your background and and kind of how you grew up well two of the most important things when i grew up was uh 
this Latvian camp called Gutizetis, as we said it. It's in Michigan. Totally weird place for a Latvian camp. That's but I mean, wild. Yeah, it was. it's just uh, a lot of my closest friends are from there. And the reason I started playing volleyball was because of that camp. So, like, and all around, it's just about, like, it's a Latvian immersion, basically. So you just speak Latvian, Latvian high school for six weeks in the summer. And you meet some of the closest friends of your life. And I'd say that was a huge aspect to me growing up and to who I am today. And uh, as a whole, born in Indiana, moved to Ohio, moved to Minnesota, then Massachusetts, and now California, and now Utah. So <laughs> kind of all over the place. Congratulations, Mix. You've toured the entire United States. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we love the name. I've talked about it with Steve Vail on a live broadcast. Mix Romanus. He's like, it just sounds like a star and name. Uh, Mix, how did you get that name, and uh, where, where did that come from from your parents? Um, well, okay, it's an old, old Latvian name, so my parents just wanted me to kind of just, like, stick to the heritage, and I'm like, I'm proud of it, of course. But uh, it was either Mix or Edward. Oh, so okay. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of happy with me. <laughs> <laughs> Edward Romanus. Edward Romanus, yeah. I lo- I'm with you. Yeah, I'm thank glad you. your parents went with Mix. Yeah, it's a little bit more How funky. many bad puns or bad jokes have you heard about your name? Oh, my gosh, too many. <laughs> like, like, at this point, I'm just kind of, I kind of, like, laugh along with them, but there's a lot of times where, like, hey, what's up, like, Chex Mix or Sir Mix a lot? Or, like, <laughs> I, I get it all. I, I get it all. So at this point, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of accustomed to it. Let's oh, be yeah. honest, Sir Sir Mix a lot. It's actually that, that, not. That's pretty cool. It's pretty, that's, it's that's pretty that one's not bad. That's that, pretty cool. We were talking about BYU athletics posters. Yes. Like that could be a poster for Mix Round. Sir oh. Mix. <laughs> yeah. That'd be sick. We may have done something here. Yeah. We. So how many times? Uh, what are the different versions of people butchering your last name? Rem- Romanus, the uh, uh, like. It, do people get it correct on the first time? How many times is it c- pronounced correctly the very first time? Like ten percent. <laughs> like, always, always. Well, you just ask, right? Just ask. Yeah. Like, yeah. How do you say your last name, Romanus? Oh, okay. Yeah. And then you know, but people yeah. are just like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give it a whirl. Yeah. <laughs> really. Mix Romanus is with us on BYU Sports Nation. A <laughs> couple of top 15 matches this weekend against the Tritons of UC San Diego. BYU's number 11. Of course, Tritons number 14. How much do you pay attention to rankings and, and these top 15 matchups at this point of the season? Not that much. I mean, they're definitely, there's still some, like, you still take, like, opinion. Like, sure, they're number one. Okay, they're going to be a good team. Because if you, you don't just get that by, like, accident, you're going to sure. be one of the top teams. But... At this point in the season, just watching everything in the NCAA, you kind of can tell that it, it's going everywhere. Like, UCLA is like, I don't know, Ball State beat Lewis in three, and then like, and Ball State won against Hawaii, and I was like, all this type of stuff. You've beaten Ball State? You've beaten Ball State, of course. But uh, it's just, there, there's so many changes, so many different games going on, or like wins, losses, that it's kind of just hard to tell. You just look at the team, look at what they're doing, just go on and play. Give me all the chaos mix. So I don't know if you know this, but when you come on the show, we give you BYU Sports Nation karma. Ah. And you're already a it really works. good player. Okay. It helps you go next level. Oh, appreciate it. And appreciate we have a long history of proof that this thing is real. <laughs> okay. I mean, <laughs> you got me excited. I'm ready for it. Huh? So go and enjoy some fantastic matches this weekend, Mix. Appreciate it, man. You got it. Mix Romanus, Latvian star. Uh, international traveler. Great to have you with us. Great stuff.